uh, viewers, you're welcome to the Ashimedua Okonkwo interview for uh, the African International. Ashimedua, uh, finally, uh, we want to get your views on leadership, uh, being a champion, an inspirational uh, leader, uh, should I say politician, uh, <laughs> a human rights uh, activist, uh, a lawyer, and uh, a thespian, there are many other things uh, we may not know. Uh, let's share your views on leadership. What do you, how do you see leadership? Well, if you want to be a leader, <laughs> it's a very difficult place to be. So if you want to be a leader, you have to learn to be the servant. Because if you want to be a leader, you are leading to serve. And if you think that leadership is just a title where um, everybody is serving you, you are completely wrong. If you are leading, first of all, you are leading by example. Um, people say to me here in Ireland that um, I'm a leader. I think, yes, I'm a leader, but I'm also serving. I'm a servant. I'm a servant for my community. I'm somebody who... I put out the word there for my people because it is very important for them to know that we have something of value. I would say, for instance, for five years, I was a board member of Louth and Mead Enterprise Training Board. That enterprise training board is the one that employs all the teachers in secondary schools under those boards. I can't remember how many schools we had. Now, I was the only black person, and I think I have been so far the only black person on that board. Okay, I was on that board for five years. And in that board, you travel all around the country, and you interview teachers, you employ teachers, you speak to, you look into their um, their syllables, how they teach children, and things like that. And if you ask me, why did I join that board? I joined that board because there are so many of us as migrants in this country, and our voices are not heard. We are supposed to be at the table when decisions are taken about us. So many of our children are going to schools in this country, and none of us have any input into our children's education. So this is, even though you say, okay, I joined that as a leader, but I joined that as a servant to make the voices of my people heard. I was interviewing teachers, I was interviewing school, people who were teaching our children for the simple fact that they had to see that even though they saw our children, they also saw value in us as migrant people here in Ireland. So if you want to be a leader, you have to be prepared mm. to serve. It's very important. And in serving, it's also selfless service. Uh, my colleague in Akidwa, Salome, she set up Akidwa. And as long as I can remember, this is 19 years now, it's, it has all been selfless service. We've gone through so many issues in the organization that if you do not have the heart to serve, you, don't, you will not be able to lead, okay? Another thing I want to say to people is about us as migrants. Those of us that are professionals and those of us that hold certain position as migrants, even in our professional fields, they look at us as underdogs. And that is fantastic. I like the fact that they look at us as underdogs. Because when they look at you as an underdog, they never see it coming. When you strike them as an underdog, yeah. you strike them right between the eyes and they never see it coming because they have underestimated you. So you keep walking in the background, developing yourself, because when you hit them immediately, they think, where did that come from? And that is the beauty of an underdog. Because you are actually a leader. 
you are doing things on that ground and building up things to the level that you want it to go and even beyond that. That is the essence of leadership. Thank you very much.